Chips, me, Pikachu, and welcome to the Nintendo Directs. It has been a while since we had a goddamn Nintendo Direct. People have been saying over September, it's going to come this day, it's going to come that day. We need this, we need that. Because I haven't seen much from Nintendo, I need to see new game. I need to see things that are going to keep me interested. We've got Metro Prime 4 on the horizon, Bayonetta 3, Legend of Zelda. I want Nintendo to do Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Um, just part them over. YouTubers, what do you want to see in today's Direct? Let's react! <laughs> Nintendo fans, we're here. Don't think I'd leave it off the channel. We live on the continent of Elios, four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought Fire as emblem. one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. They now have to tell a story to Fire Emblem, though. What a mix of colours for a hairdo. She was far in the red. Ah, it's Mark doing here. Engage. Okay. You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? If I may, you She's are a divine such a high voice. voice. A member high of the royal voice. family of dragons Very revered as deities. The war. The fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. But... I've had my eye on you. The ring. Marth, right. Sigurd, leave it to me. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come! Now, as one emblem, engage! Right, okay, so this is the thing that we're doing. Emblem, engage! One strike will decide it all. Please grant me your strength. I've got to say, the art style is beautiful. I love Fire Emblem stories. She asked me to gather up the rings and bring peace back to Elios. Yeah, I definitely... Oh hell, so soon. Hello wow. everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition containing collectible items. I'm not bothered. Just want the normal Please look edition. To more information Give me the game. game in the future. Happy guy. 
Let's take Way a look to appeal at our to first the fans, batch so. of headlines. It takes two to it tango. It takes two to tango. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate with a friend in this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure. Even the bumpiest road can be traveled with someone by your side. Venture through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal via the free friends pass. Help Cody and May return to normal, with a partner of course. It Takes Two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. Pre-orders begin today. I have today seen on Nintendo YouTubers eShop. play this. Um, it was um, not my thing, but begins. it looks cool for a cop game. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka oh, Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. Is that the first Fatal Frame? There's a new hero it looks who looks okay, mechanical? But not my thing. Introducing Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be uh mechanical? Complete her quest to have okay. her join your party. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Challenge battles will also be added. Test your metal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. Challenge even stronger enemies to earn valuable accessories and special outfits. More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade wow. Chronicles 3 expansion so really pass launches on Nintendo Switch DLC October 13th. Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming oh adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven fan. outlandish wish worlds like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, and meet your favorite bikini bottom residents from the TV series, oh. voiced by their original actors. I just don't like Soak it. Up SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. I know people year. do a bit, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're already fit. Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. They'll be your instructors in what exercise is mode, leading you through various boxing drills. Defeat as many enemies as you can with just your fists in battle mode. Oh, or take on rivals one, in boss battles, including Jaggy. Fitness Boxing, Fist of the North Star, launches on <coughs> Nintendo Switch March 2023. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Uh. Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. A small box washes ashore on a ruined island, 
brave the unknown are all in this isometric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. Dangerous traps Looks and even like more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I think I've seen that played New online Intel already. Has on the for these front mission remakes. Full remakes of two front mission games are storming in. In Front Mission 1 Remake, you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn based combat. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. You can also test your metal at the Colosseum. Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills added from the first game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Nintendo Switch. It's Never a wonderful it. life for a new generation. God, so much shovelware. After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Care for your friendly animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Ugh. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. An especially wonderful how farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. What time is it? Is it tomorrow yet? Story of Seasons. A Wonderful Life launches on Nintendo Switch, Summer 2023. Can't they just have a direct for indies separate to this? Splatoon. The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? I, I so don't mind Splatoon. Incredible possibilities. Which team well, will you join? Well, it's just not something that bounces me personally either. But a lot of people seem to like it. More free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Of course they are. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. So, Squids, what did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Next, please take a look at this. Ah, oh, real Square Enix. No one had in mind. Octopath Traveler. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. Eight new travelers embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict, without bloodshed. I'm going to become a star. Octopath Traveler's never vibe with me either. Just like 
like it's not my day I'm today. To I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. Each traveler's path action differs between flat. day and night. Yeah. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big round? Let's go, Tenos. And what adventures await them in this new world? I think I found the source. The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Eight. Where will their journeys lead them? And, and I you. bet you it takes hundreds of hours to complete. Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24, 2023. That is a date not going in my What you just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Let's see some more headlines. Oh no, the flashpoint headlines. Do not a shove away. magical home is waiting for you. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting Another friendships in this farm game. simulation RPG. Oh my god, what the... Discover magical spells to grow crops. What is wrong with Face off Nintendo against today. mischievous foes. And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. Along the way, not you'll be like a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. By gathering resources and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. Nothing As the like seasons the change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Magic awaits in Fay Farm. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. It's a musical blast from the past. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel. Torn from the Heavens. What the fuck is this? Well, it's this part of Simulate Games. And more. There are 385 songs total. Songs are categorized by game, so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi-battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today release on Nintendo Hero. After the game's like launch, DLC pay DLC songs from the Saga series. Near oh series. Oh god, gets worse. Octopath Traveler. Live Alive and more will be released. That's 90 additional songs. Plus, additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. A cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario and the Rabbit. I don't mind this. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Personally, I haven't played it, but Find it's coins. better than what I've seen today. Unlock hidden paths and help out the locals with their troubles. Yeah. At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, 
your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks. sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. It must be a new thing. Can Mario and the Rabbits put an end to the darkness? Mario Plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A Gold Edition can also be pre-ordered, containing the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. We really are Restore peace out. between humans and Recycled monsters. Recycled ideas though. Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. Uh, Take a break from RPG. quests to chat with the locals, That's cultivate crops, and care for monsters. Among what other the fuck is it farming activities, you can also transform into a monster? Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. How many shits do I give? Zero! Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Look forward to that. More Nintendo 64 games are on the way. Finally, Pilot let's Wings talk. 64. Not a fan of Pilot Wings 64. Mario Party. No, not Mario the original. Mario Party 2. No. Nope. Mario Party 3. I'm seeing a pan here. Pokemon What's Stadium. That? Now we're talking. Pokemon we're talking. Stadium 2. Yes, bam. 1080 snowboarding. Nah. Excite Bike 64. No. These games will gradually no. be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits with an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Next try. No! Golden Eye! Oh, shit the bed. This is like the game that I had on the N64. We've got mind play. Slaps only. Why not mix things up Take with plenty these of that. Nintendo Switch games? Live your best life on the newly discovered continent of Antoesia in this immersive RPG. Perform over 100 Another RPG. types of daily tasks to build character and deepen your relationships with the locals. In doing so, you'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. A grand adventure into the unknown awaits. Various Daylight launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Today. Woo! A malfunction man. causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rocket from scratch in this management oh, sim game. Indies. I don't want to see indies. Materials. Then build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. That's she just wanders through on. a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Like Super Every Mario 64. affects her fate in Ib, launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. Mario Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting a second free update. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements Not and strong tackles. Not interested in Mario Strikers. And 
Diddy Kong, a midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. The final summer begins. It's just full of DLC and farming simulators. Dancing simulators. RPGs. When strange islands suddenly appear, Risa and friends set sail to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG. Eleven heroes from all walks of life will join your party. Keyword During RPG. battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. New features are also in store. The keys to this lively adventure are in your hands. Keys. Atelier Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. The title is that long, you have to take a breath between saying it. Wave 3 is on the way. DLC. A peek at two courses racing into Wave 3. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart <coughs> Tour. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. Wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on That's its own. That's me! How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. Uh, In the next okay. free update, golf will be added. DLC. Golf should have just been on there. That was the one thing that was missing from it. Of course, you can play these locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Those with the most strokes will be out. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Please wait just a little longer. Next, we have a special guest. Why can't you just buy a Mr. game Miyamoto. and it complete? Don't even release Hello, until it's, it's done. been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Bros. animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next oh, spring. Oh yeah, I remember that. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California in the US. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. It's been Pikmin. over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. This is Pikmin Bloom. It's a smart device game we started with Niantic late last year, in which players all over the world are planting flowers. Smart device game. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. But you know what, they Pikmin make so Bloom much money a smart off these. Game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them and plant flowers together. All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. So, how many steps did we take today? <coughs> While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. 
Let's take a quick look at my screen. <coughs> I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. If you give Pikmin nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along the path you walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easy-going play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now nope. to the main event. Please take a look at this. Graphics, good. Console exclusive, looks like it. Is it Pikmin 4? What is that it? Take a look at this. Pikmin That's 4! Right. Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this, from the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. I also made a new t-shirt. Nintendo wow, Switch has made so controlling wrong. the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. I want to see another Star Fox Adventures. Thank I want you to see very much, Mr. Miyamoto. More Smash. Now, I want to see Zelda, Metroid, headlines. Metroid 4. Show me something I want to see. Your dancing oh, game fucking to the dance. next level. Fucking hell. Can I be one of these cheesy adverts as well? This is just one game that doesn't die, just dance. Someone's buying them games. Can you survive the season of death? Another an RPG. As you cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village of Lethe, the season of death quietus continuously oh, returns, threatening to destroy that. all. Travel the world the and one. find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Literally has Harvest in the title. Get ready for a devilishly oh. good time. Thank God for the God Bayonetta. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. 
and look you lie. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca. And I remember Umbra Luca. Witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. A hair raising, demon summoning, globe trotting adventure awaits in Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Shit, After why did I think Nintendo it's coming Direct, out in February? A new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate controlled metropolis. God, I'm in Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective, <laughs> and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Tower. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. When you're ready, I mean... Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Uncover the secrets of Master Detective Archives Rain Code, launching first on the Nintendo Switch system spring 2023. Out of everything I've seen, that's a little bit different. Enter the village. You need variety. If you dare. Oh, here we go. Resident Evil Cloud. The latest installment I only in know the about Resident this Evil the series Capcom. is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. I don't do clouds. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. The Winter's Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more will launch December 2nd. Additionally, three other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. Cloud. It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Just Switch games. Bring out the Switch Pro if you can't put them on the foes to Switch. avenge your father in this kung fu action brawler. By thrusting, tripping, and parrying opponents, you'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. Fall in combat, and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin no, today fine. on Nintendo eShop. Experience the events leading up to Final Fantasy VII in this exhilarating action RPG. Zack Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring to become a hero. I'm getting this on the PlayStation. With Sephiroth and Cloud, he investigates strange disappearances within his elite unit. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The classic the arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. 
defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus, or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The journey of world regeneration begins anew. Never heard of any Remaster of these. of Tales of Symphonia is coming to Nintendo Switch. The world of Silverant is controlled by I've shadowy this, forces but... called Desiance. To stop them, a person known as the Chosen One must ascend the Tower of Salvation. I really hope that's true. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette, the current Chosen One, and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat, Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. The fate of two interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. God, it's draining me all this shovelware now. Tales of Symphonia Remastered begins its, really its journey on me. Nintendo Switch early next year. I think this is for the minute. This, um... Oh, God, what now? Is it a wrap? Do we get a last... Last, like they do? Oh, God. It's a wrap, finally. These are just games that got just so much trouble there. Don't care less about Fall Guys. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore return to his home planet, Kirby and his friends set off on an adventure. In oh, addition to sword, old Kirby games. and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Blast foes from a distance or punch them up close. It's packed with other powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. There's also a collection of sub-games to play. This includes the new sub-game Magalore's Tome Trackers and returning ones like Samurai Kirby. All sub-games can be played with up to four players. An adventure of delicious proportions and ways. Not interested. The only thing that looks Kirby's good to me is Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches out. on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please oh, take a look. Oh, thank God. Come on, be Zelda, like, uh, a port, like, Twilight Princess. Give me something, I want Twilight Princess. It's 
definitely Zelda, but it's not Twilight Princess. Is it the new Zelda? If it is, then that's even better. Yes! Motherfucking yes! Look at that. It's very much like Skyward Sword. It's a very like all up in the sky kind of stuff. Is that it? Tears of the Kingdom. Right, okay. At least we got a title. And a date! An actual fucking date! Okay, YouTubers, we're just gonna stop right there. I have to admit, it's not often that a Nintendo Direct can absolutely drain the shit out of me. Like, don't get me wrong, um, Fire Emblem Engage, definitely wanna see that. That's up my street. Some heavy hitters in there, Pikmin 4, um, Legend of Zelda, Bayonetta 3. I'm glad that we've got a title for The Legend of Zelda. And also, we actually got a flipping release date. Hype, yes. Fire Emblem, another heavy hitter, but we need to see something from Metroid. We need to see F-Zero. We're about another Star Fox adventure. Well, what did you think to this Direct? I thought it was mostly trash. There was a lot of farming simulator games. Like what the, like dancing simulator games, like you know those little dance boards you see in arcades, where you go step, 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 like there's a lot of that shit, what the fuck is that about? So many J like RPGs, there was not a lot of variety, it was just shovelware, could have like been like half the amount of what it could have been, and just a few more heavy hitters. Maybe Nintendo, if that's what some people cater to and they want to see that, just do a separate one, just do a, an indie direct or something. Like the main directs like this one, just keep it out there. You're sending people to sleep. But YouTubers, if you want to see a better Nintendo direct in the future, just consider going down there for this one and smashing that like button with sympathy for Nintendo. Let's destroy that YouTube algorithm together. And if you want to see future videos on this channel consider scrolling on over to the other side hitting that subscribe button if you want future videos from this channel and if you want notifications as to when those go live just ringling that dingling bell and youtubers if you just want to get in touch with me and interact with the channel for free the emma socials right there if you want to hit me anything up your opinions about this nintendo direct feel free to do so and i'm your host for doom flicks as always i'm Peace out.